Good morning everybody. I am Thomas from Virginia Outdoors Unlimited and this morning we are going to be doing yet another duck hunt. It is November the 24th, a Sunday. It's the fifth day of our November duck season and I am currently headed out to go meet up with Chase and Wit to go and hit a kayak spot. Uh, this is the same spot that me and Chase and Wit hunted together a couple times last year. Uh, the videos were titled Mallards and Geese on Skinny Water and then like Fighting the Ice or something like that. So for those of you that saw those videos, videos, you might recognize this, recognize this place. I think we're actually going to hunt a different spot in here than we typically have. Uh, in the past, we've hunted kind of this little skinny piece, um, but there's actually a hole up above that that typically holds a little bit of water but not much but the beavers this season have kind of got on their horse and it seems like they really did a lot of work with their dam and now that hole up above is holding a lot of water so that seems like a little bit better habitat at this point i went in there and scouted the other day did not see any birds so that was not encouraging i wouldn't say expectations are overly high today but you just never know um but yeah it's right around 5 15 right now i'm about to meet up with these boys and hit the water in the kayaks so i'm looking forward to this i haven't really got out on a good kayak hunt this yet this season so hopefully we're able to get on a few birds today i'd be happy with just one or two mallards a piece or just one or two ducks a piece and you never know with the geese in here some days they come in and force some days they you won't even see a goose so there's a couple deer. I'm gonna get off this camera, meet up with these boys, and we're gonna hit the water. We are set up and ready to go. Got about five minutes till shooting light. Got back in kind of the hole I had picked out beforehand. There's even more water in here than I thought there was. It is a whole different environment than it was last year, so really don't know what to expect. We busted about 25, maybe even more than that, geese out of here that were roosted. So never know, maybe they'll come back in, but got like 10 decoys out and the pulsator so we're looking forward to this hopefully if nothing else hopefully our cover matters that's what i said our cover is really really good in here i'll just be happy if our cover matters so gonna tuck in here wait for shooting light Wow, look at them all. Those were all widgeon. That was cool. Literally five seconds before you heard them, I was thinking, if the widgeon comes in here, I get first dibs at it. <laughs> Here we go, out in front. Here we go. Good shooting, boys. Good shooting, boys. Just on the right. Right here. <laughs> here we go. Kill one of those birds. That was still alive. What do you say? <laughs> Kill them if they come over, wit.
That's my bad. Should've been hard on it. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm working on it. Yep. Here's the mallard head. Yeah, if you got some, toss it to me. Whew. Mallard hen. I think me and Chase split on that one or something of the such. Here. I can only shoot drakes. Here. Gosh. Oh, it's okay, it's floating. Got him. First drake of the year for wet. Woohoo! Here you go. Happy. Oh yeah, toss him over. <laughs> How many curls? We got two on two on yours and we got two on mine. Oh wow. Got some mature birds here. Good shot. Good shot that. Jay. <laughs> Dude, I can't, this son of a We are probably about 45 minutes in, if I had to guess. Maybe even an hour at this point. The flight in here was pretty strong, actually. Much stronger than I anticipated, given my scouting in here. We might have seen, might have seen somewhere around 100 ducks in total, if I had to say. Good few woodies, good few mallards. Had a flock of widgeon come over whistling the whole time, so that got us a little bit excited. We had two birds come, basically we had four birds come in, and we killed three of those four. We're not sure if we knocked down the other one. It looked like she went down, but there's no sign of her over there, so we're currently sitting on two mallard drakes and one mallard hen. Each of us have one apiece, so. As has been typical with this spot the past couple, times we've hunted it the flight has just completely died off uh, at this point so I turned the mojo off hoping for maybe some geese to come in here mid-morning or something like that maybe some teal or something so you never know but not super encour encouraging doesn't help that we have bluebird conditions and no wind so gonna hang out here and hope for the best Here we go, here we go. These are gonna be hoodies. Yep. Huzzah! Oh, Limits. Have you seen the meme? Do you have any history of mental illness in your family? It's like I got an uncle that shoots mergansers. <laughs> I think there's even less water than that now because they're containing all the water over here. Ooh, what a what a good one. Here's the real prize. Chases. God, he's got rigor mortis. He's got something in there. Look at him. Look at that bull bull throw. See what it is. I don't know. Your finisher will cut it one. I don't want to. I don't want to see what's down in there. Oh, <laughs> we'll open them up when we get back. That's a that's a bull hoodie and a half.
we are gonna go ahead and call it a day at that it is right around 9 15 right now and we have not seen a duck other than a merganser in about two hours so that tells you guys something about the flight it was a fun hunt though you know this november has been a little bit slow so far it doesn't seem like there's a ton of birds down here and our spots just aren't holding as many birds as we're used to so we're making do with what we got in terms of the things that went well today uh the the birds that we had decoy decoyed in right and you know we saw more birds than i was honestly expecting we probably saw around 100 big ducks and wood ducks uh that you just not many of them really wanted in we had a lot of birds flying above us around us and just it seemed like not a bunch wanted this hole so it is what it is uh, I guess the bad stuff would be just that the flight did not last as long as we thought it would and then I think we lost one other mallard. I went back and watched the footage and it did look like I got a good piece of that bird so um, I'm going to go ahead and just say that I had two birds, two mallards, one lost. Oh, There's the damage for the day. Two mallard drakes, one mallard hen and then two hooded merganser drakes and one hooded merganser hen. This one is an absolute toad of, of a hooded merganser. If someone was gonna mount one, this would be just about as good as they get, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. Hopefully we'll be getting on some more hunts soon with a few more birds, but if you guys have any questions, comments, things of that nature, leave them in the comments section below. If you guys aren't subscribed and you guys enjoy waterfowl videos, you guys liked this video there's gonna be a lot more videos like that coming this fall and winter so click that subscribe button if you guys aren't already subscribed and click that notification button if you guys don't have that uh, notifications turned on for my channel so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching